Hey, what's going on guys? Chad again with Flatline Fiberco, and today I just wanted to give you a comparison video on our dump pouches and maybe why you should choose one over the other. So when we launched the dump pouch with John Dufresne of Kinetic Consulting, we designed this together and we launched it with the ripstop version. Okay, the ripstop version is large enough to fit a C50 gas mask. It is really strong nylon ripstop material. It might seem super lightweight, um, but it is very durable because um, it is made out of ripstop. So if you puncture it, guess what it's not gonna do? It's not gonna continue ripping, okay? Um, so super lightweight, it's really nice material. Um, you might wanna use this if you don't want added weight on your belt or you want something that stows up super nice and tight on your belt. Um, but you still need all that storage space um, and it has the internal pockets inside of it. So you can stow uh, spare rifle mags, uh, flashbangs, grenades, sharpie markers, chem lights, whatever, and keep that kind of stuff organized on the range or on the job. Um, it also is uh, water repellent, so that's going to help with that. Um, so let's move on to the next version that we released which is the Cordura version. These dump pouches have the exact same measurements. They're the exact same size. Uh, they both have the internal pockets for storage. And this, this Cordura dump pouch can also stow a C50 uh, gas mask um, on the job. And it essentially is the exact same, except the body is made from 500 denier Cordura. So you're gonna get a little bit more abrasion resistance a little bit more puncture resistant. Sure, a knife can still go through it, um, but it's gonna, be, it's gonna be a little bit more puncture resistant than the ripstop, but it is heavier, okay? This is way lighter than this, um, and this is, gonna stow, uh, this is gonna stow a little bit larger than the ripstop and not be quite as compact, but some guys might want it um, because it has a little bit more structure to it and it's gonna stay open a little bit more when it's weighted down with stuff. It just really depends on what you're using it for um, and what you're putting inside of it to see if it's gonna work for you. So it's all gonna come down to preference, but we wanted to offer these different versions uh, to you. So also, now we have the mini dump pouch, um, which, is made from the same material as the Cordura version, the large Cordura version, and it is a 500 denier Cordura. It's a two inches shorter and an inch um, more narrow. Uh, so if you just need something that's a little bit smaller, you don't need to stow a gas mask or you don't need to stow nearly as many things, you might just be using it for training or you just might be using it um, to, you know, like if you're in law enforcement or military, stow things in here that you might find on the job that you need to uh, keep on you. Uh, empty magazines or whatever. Uh, the empty mags will still uh, stow in here and not stick out of the top. Um, this version does not have the internal pockets. Since it is more shallow, we didn't feel like it was necessary uh, to add those internal pockets on this one. Um, but to just give you a side-by-side -side comparison, and hopefully, Guys, this helps make your decision on which one you wanna purchase for uh, your use case. So the biggest thing is pick one of these up, train with it, use it, let us know how you like it, and uh, let us know if it has been super help, helpful, helpful for you on the job. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to hit us up on, uh, on flatlinefabrico.com, shoot us a DM. Uh, check out our other YouTube videos that might be helpful to you as well. Thanks again, guys, and have a good day.